It was just before sunrise in July when the botanists Naomi Fraga and Maria Jesus threw on backpacks and crunched their way across a brittle alkaline flat in the hottest corner of the Mojave Desert. Their mission? To rescue a tiny plant teetering on the brink of extinction. A decade ago, the Amargosa River Basin east of Death Valley National Park was a vast muddy wetland studded with millions of Amargosa niterwort, a fleshy herb that grows only here and that scientists call Nitrophila mohavensis. Today, the species has dwindled to fewer than 150,000, and most of the plants that still sprout from this salt-white playa have stopped producing viable seeds, stressed victims of decreasing rainfall, rising temperatures and the loss of groundwater due to pumping. The botanists aim to collect seeds until the temperature hit triple digits. Later, their bounty would be sealed inside aluminum foil packets for storage in California seed bank freezers at the nonprofit California Botanic Garden in Claremont. Oh, man, I've never seen it so dry here before, said Fraga, 42, director of conservation programs at the Botanic Garden. Not all that long ago we would have been slipping and sliding around in mud, she said. Surrounding Fraga were shallow holes that had been dug by wildlife clawing desperately for food and water. We'll be lucky to find a single seed this morning, she said. The conditions under which Fraga and Jesus, 37, a conservationist at the Botanic Garden, were working said a lot about their spirit and commitment to salvaging even the most obscure flora whose natural cycles have fallen out of sync due to climate change. In four previous expeditions here, Fraga had collected a total 133 niterwort seeds. Eventually, we'd like to have 3,000 of their seeds in the bank, she said. That would ensure enough on hand for restoration efforts if the plant has gone extinct in the wild. The recent survey left her doubtful however. The speed at which this desert is drying up makes me want to cry, she said. Globally, more than a million plants and animals face extinction due to habitat loss, climate change and other factors related to human activity, and this alarming loss of biodiversity is only accelerating. In California, conservationists and biologists have identified scores of species in potential peril including many icons of the state's beloved wildlands, Chinook salmon, giant sequoias, Joshua trees, desert tortoises, California red-legged frogs, gray whales. Now, a hellish summer of extreme fire activity, drought and heat are again pushing some species to the brink of oblivion. Seized by a newfound urgency, state and federal biologists, research institutions, Conservation organizations and zoos have been racing to save the most threatened species with a bold campaign of emergency translocations, captive breeding programs and seed banks. Some have likened the effort to a modern-day nose arc.